hours, let's say, exactly 10 hours, so, and then 10.09. Uh, it's Saturday, February 27th, 9.43 a.m. Um, and now it's the point of the, the sleep where um, I'm just lying in bed trying to remember my dreams and I have to get over that. Also, there's a breakfast at 10.30 at a restaurant um, for a singles group, and I wanted to walk over, and it's about an hour walk. Whoa, it's a lot of snow out. Um, I was starting to get so upset while I was lying there, just picturing like my original girlfriend, Jen. Not the original, like the third one, uh, with this uh, other girl that I introduced her to, and they're best friends now. And I just pictured them like have a picture together on the beach and like all their perfect times together. And then I just realized I'm getting upset now about a made-up picture that I just made up in my head. Um, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. And so I started thinking, well, what's, you know, don't I have, haven't I had fun times in the past eight years? Uh, I don't know. I've got a picture in Costa Rica. Or, hey, even this summer I went to, you know, that campfire. Okay, I've got a selfie there. Um... One thing I think I realized last night while I was sleeping or something was that I think there's software where you can um, transcribe videos. So, like, if I'm talking in this video right now, I can send the YouTube link to somebody and then, um, or to a website, and it can print out what I'm saying. And it just occurred to me, well, maybe that's my diary then. Maybe that's what, you know, because I've been saying for the past while, I wish I could print up a diary, but maybe this is my diary now. Uh, so that gave me a bit of hope. I'm like, okay, 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 I can print out a book and I can say all my, here's my book of my morning thoughts or something, uh, which I guess makes me think I should be speaking more carefully so the machine can understand what I'm saying. But that's going to put too much pressure on me. I wonder if it'll know where to put periods. Oh, now I'm getting upset. All right, I'll just stop thinking about this. But I guess I can print out a rough version and then I can skim through it and add some punctuation if I want. Anyways, uh, my dreams, my sister was in them a lot, my sister Diana, uh, I pictured we were sitting, we were sitting in an office or something, or maybe I was just sitting in an office, and people were coming by, and I don't know, and then my sister and I were sitting outside an apartment building, because she was going to see an apartment, and the landlady was there, and she was showing it to somebody else. And uh, something to a t-shirt. Did my sister show her shirt that it said something? And she's like, look, my shirt says this. And they're like, okay, well. And then I was like, I should take off my jacket. But I think that's just because I was lying in real life here with my hoodie and then my um, bathrobe on top of it. And I was getting too hot. And, uh, and I knew probably around 7 a.m. I woke up when the furnace started going on. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't remember what much else. I think I hung out with my sister a lot, and then I had this vague notion that, hey, whatever happens in my dream, I can transcribe it. That's what I started thinking, too, I think. I was half awake, and I'm like, is there a way to have all my dreams transcribed, like, so that I can just get a record of that, and that can be my book, everything I've said in dreams, but that's probably not realistic. Um, so yeah, I think at this point, well, the cleaning lady's coming today, so I just need to to get up, and I'm going to start walking. I'll be late now for that breakfast, but if I just start walking, I can get there, and uh, and that'll be my morning, and then I guess start one of my videos. I'm just trying to think. I've been lying here trying to think, like, is there anybody I know, any friends I can talk to? I can call Lauren, maybe. Maybe Kathleen. Like, just people that I can talk to and connect with. Because all I see are pictures of my ex-girlfriends on on Facebook with their families, and it just destroys me. I'm like, anyways, I talked about this last night in my good night thoughts, uh, which was just my day's summary because I didn't post my story yesterday because I was so upset um, about how, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, about how Ty Lopez on Clubhouse was talking about how, you know, happiness. Uh, even somebody else piped in, in in the Clubhouse room at the end and was saying, it's not about money. Like, if you've got your family and your kids and your, your wife and... And, and that's what happiness is. That's what everybody wants. And I'm like, but I don't... That's what I didn't do. And I realize now I could have had the family, locked it down. 
I could have made money. I could have been one girl on Instagram posted yesterday, the feeling when you, you know, you spent 10 years with your best friend and it's like they're in some 10 year anniversary hotel room and they're dancing, they're doing the TikTok dances. And, and I'm like, I've, I've had girls like that, that you're just like, Hey, let's do something today. I've got an idea. But, but some people go through sad things too. So not everybody's happy all the time. I've got to try to remember that. I've got to, I don't know if it's useful to be going through the Facebook groups with suicide people and depressed people and anxious people. I mean, it helps a bit to see that I'm not alone, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, the snow outside is stunning. I just, you know, it'd be nice if I had somebody to share it with. And then somebody too, uh, I saw this little Instagram clip. It's like, you know, how old are you? Or how old are your parents? And my, the guy's like 74 and 76. And then the, the, the life coach guy is like, okay, well, let's say they live to 80. How often do you see them? And the guy's like, uh, twice a year. He's like, so you might be thinking, oh, I've got five years of my parents. But no, you've got 10 times to see them. And if you think about it that way, you'll be like, oh my God, I'm going to go see them more. I'm going to go see them at least once a month. That's true. So, I mean, I'm glad that I've been staying in the house with them. Um, that's good. And yeah, all I can do is just, you know, get up. I'll go for a nice walk in the snow. We're all just doing our thing. We're all, I keep telling myself, that's my little mantra. We're all doing our thing. Like Lauren's getting up and doing some editing. Brad Pitt is getting up and doing whatever he's doing. Uh, yesterday, Ty Lopez says Jeff, Lope uh, Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, or founder of Amazon, because he just sort of stepped down. Um, he, uh, he just gets up and sort of, wanders around the house or whatever till 10.30 in the morning. That's his thinking time. Just He just doesn't do anything. It's unstructured. So we're all just doing our thing today. Every, no matter what, you know, everybody, you know, of course, my girlfriend Sarah, my original girlfriend, first girl I ever kissed, could have had a great life with her, but, you know, she's getting up with her kids. They're going skiing today probably. or Who knows? It doesn't matter. I mean, it's hard. You can't go back in time. I don't know. Just keep keep moving forward. All right. Good morning.